If your code looks like spaghetti, op is your fork. Op or object oriented programming is just a smart way to organize your code using real world objects. Think of a class as a blueprint, just like the design of a car. You draw the design once and then you can build as many cars as you want. Each object created from that class has its own attributes like color, model or speed and its own methods like start, accelerate or stop. But there are also class level variables shared by all objects. For example, the number of fields every car has. Objects hold their own unique attributes while the class holds shared values and together they shape how every object looks and behaves. Besides the regular object methods and class level behavior, a class can also have static methods. Static methods are simple helper functions that live inside a class but don't depend on any specific object. They don't use self or CLS and you call them directly on the class. For example, in our car class, a static method can estimate trip time given a distance and an average speed. And op becomes even more powerful with four simple ideas. Encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphism. These concepts help you hide complexity, reuse code, and let different objects respond in their own unique way. And if you want to explore in depth from classes and objects to data classes, abstraction, polymorphism, and real design patterns, I've explained everything step by step in my full blog post. You can scan the QR code on the screen or visit the link in the description.